And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Ken Wen Zhang from China taking on Rebecca Marino. Now, listen, guys, you remember the lock I gave you in Canada. That's right, Rebecca Marino's backyard. I told you to take the over. I also told you to take Ken Wen Zhang and also came on live, told you to take her in game after she lost the first set. That was three picks that all won. Now, listen, guys, ever since that matchup, the meetings between these two have been lopsided, right? Kim Wen Zhang has made the necessary adjustments. She is stronger. However, she's not the best returner, so she can leave the door open for opponents to hold, but not in this matchup. Kim Wen Zhang is doing a good job of returning these fireballs from Rebecca Marino. Kenwin's got 10 aces. Unbelievable. And she's winning 80 plus percent of her first serves. Now, Rebecca's got what what does she got like four aces but she's got six double faults so she's giving them back she's making a lot of mistakes kenwin is keeping the pressure on rebecca now kenwin can not only match rebecca's power i do think she's stronger she's uh more athletic physically fit now these two ladies are tall they're giants did you guys see the um the trophy presentation with Carolyn Garcia and Alicia Parks. Now, Alicia Parks is listed as 6'1", right? That's true. We believe it. But Carolyn Garcia is listed at 5'10", and she's an inch taller than Alicia Parks. So do you guys see this? The, what I'm talking about? These descriptions, they're just not accurate. I've met most of these women on tour, and they're all taller. I mean, all of them are at least 6 feet tall. The reality is the profiles are just not true. But nonetheless, Rebecca Marino, Kenwin Zhang, good match. But Zhang is about to serve this thing out. And guess who's next, guys? Long hair, don't care. Another Canadian. Rebecca Marino is out. But Layla is up next. Stay tuned.